Hi everybody! Welcome back to Kona. That's right, we're back. We're still freezing our balls off. We're inside our car though, so it's probably not too bad. We're at the scene of a crashed car. Carl is about to step out and investigate. French-Canadian car crash. The best kind. Oh my gosh. It looks like... Okay. The track was fresh. Yeah. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Really? Now where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Yeah, it looks like they came through this way, possibly. There's lo looks like there's a, a shirt here, a sock, a passport, a ranger manual. The manual owner seems to be Wilfred Roy, father of Patrick Roy, or Patrick Roy, um, a very famous hockey Someone player from must Canada. Have this in a hurry, but Where? whoever did was heading into the woods. Oh, crap. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. But look, there's wolf tracks Carl, here. ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which yeah. he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Okay, there's the map here as well that we can always look at. So we've been to um, that house up there. It's like kind of hard to like point it out because I don't seem to have my cursor. Okay, how do I arm my hatchet? Four? Five. Wait. No. Where's my hatchet? Where's my equipment? My hatchet. This is all right. Just in case the wolf is out here. Okay, let's see if we can open up this car. Or smash it. Is that an arrow? Someone had been playing with a crossbow here. A very dangerous game. A bolt could hit someone's tire. Or their eye. It could even kill someone if the aim was right. It looks red hot. Okay, I've taken a picture of... That. Now I can open. Oh, here we go. What's this? Polaroid film. A lone boot. Okay, let me just take a picture of this boot just in case as well. I am a detective, so I have to take pictures of all this stuff. Okay, it looks like the car is well and truly crashed up into some snow. There was only void where the road should be. Carl hated it. Yeah, he well. Is lucky. It was as if the road had drowned in the lake. Oh look, I got some, help by road. some free logs here. What's this? What? Oh, it's a a wagon. I see. Okay, fine. All right. Do I need to? T what the fuck? Do I need to? Hey. Okay, let's see. We can close the door, but we don't want to. We want to get in and have a snoop around can open the other door and open the glove compartment. Maybe that'll have like the driver's license and registration. It's empty. What the hell? And the car is still running and everything as well? Okay, I'll tell you what. It's now time to equip our hatchet. We have a revolver as well. Even better. Okay, we're going out here with the revolver. We're gonna follow the, the the trail of what's this? Okay, I've taken another picture of an ice thing. What are these ice things? Okay, and now it looks like the gun has been put away. Okay, let's follow the track here. See if we can find ice wall. Oh shit! No! Carl felt engulfed by a wave of cold and for a second thought he was fainting. What the fuck? Hello? Carl had no issue recognizing the spirit-like figures, but he couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. Who are these people? Hello? Hello? Do you want me to climb up the wall or something? Or jump? Yes? No? Hello? 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 I I don't know what to do. I can like zoom it. Can I? I I have access to my documents apparently. Tales and legends. Is that gonna help me at all? Not really, I wouldn't have thought. Is there like a Oh I see. You have to go through here. Then you have to... Wait, is this like the ice stuff? Is this whole wall made of ice? I couldn't quite tell. Oh, are these my footprints? Oh, shit. I'm making a whole bunch of extra footprints. Where did the wolf go? 
into the wall? Maybe I can go up this way? The further Carl moved away from the ice block, the more his senses came back to him. Really? What the fuck is this? What do I do? What the hell am I meant to do here? Alright, let's just like skip up here and see if we can Numbness regain our senses. Way to awareness. The vision was wavering. Thank Christ for that. What the hell? Hey look, there's a box here. There's a um Oh, it's like a kid's map. Was this like a secret treasure or something? Okay. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Okay, we we're getting cold, so we can't stay out here too long. Can we get up on top of this? Okay, we're romping around in the forest here. But we can't do this just yet, I don't think. The reason we can't do this is because we don't have a coat or anything. Look, this whole tree has been uprooted. Oh, look, the vision is gone. No, it's back! Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was going back to the realm of visions. Oh, God. Please not. What the fuck? Is that a cave? No, it's not. Okay. We have to get back. That the cold was beating a retreat. As we have to get back to the car. Some kind of center of gravity. Christ. Okay, it's so cold out here. I think we're about to die. Carl can't run anymore or anything. Okay, we have to find that bottle of caribou. So that we can get the warmer clothes. I don't think we can be out here for too long. In our current state. Okay, look, we're recharging our brains. This is great. Okay. Now we're gonna have to reverse this bad boy. We're gonna have to reverse this bad boy and we're gonna have to go find a bottle of caribou. And that might mean stopping in at some of these houses. Uh, where were the mailboxes? There's like one up here, wasn't there? I almost turned down it on the way up. Come on, mailbox. Where? There. Okay, somebody lives down here. Let's go see who it is. Brum, brum. I hope it's not too far in. And I hope whoever it is has a bottle of caribou so that I can go change it for that coat and the, that guy's scarf and stuff. Okay. Here we are. We made it. It's Blaze House. Wait, is, is that the guy that used to work at the store? Or am I, am I thinking of someone else? Okay, I hope that a wintry it, atmosphere surrounded the house. It's the other the boot. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. It's this other boot. Look. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. Hello. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, there's more luggage here. Someone ran out of time packing his luggage. Okay. Money in a jar. What a shame. Oh, Carl look at all loved cookies. Look at all those those Canadian $20 bills. Awesome. All right. Let's lighten the mood a little bit, shall we? Were they cooking anything? No, there's no food, okay. Is there any cleaning products under here that I could drink and kill myself with? No. What's this? A pay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Right. Alexandre okay. Blais felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. Cloutier et Fils. That means Cloutier and Sons, in case you were wondering. Alexander Blaise worked for them, and he made 140 bucks, allegedly. What? Is it really that dark in here? We have to get our torch out, apparently. Okay, we've got the torch out. It looks like whoever this guy is got a kid. Maybe that... It's really cold. Why is this window, window open? window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. Close the window! A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. What's this? Is that a... Oh, it's a Bobby Orr hockey card. Nice. There's another one as well. Okay, let's turn off the TV. He's got a a Canadiens. I guess they I guess they couldn't use the 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 Canadians branding or whatever. Maybe it's like a like a trademark thing or something. So they had to like make their own up. 
Alright, it looks like there's another piece of this map in here. Le Monstre. Okay, there's wolves and then uh, what looks like an alien. So we might be up against an alien out here. Just FYI. What does that say? Impossible creation for a mechanical drawing toy. Oh, maybe the monster the likes sheets art. Were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening, oh. followed by a hurried escape. Oh, what I had see. Happened here? Yeah, and look at all this ice forming in here as well. Maybe it's an ice monster that can freeze people. Only the tormented minds smoke in bed. I guess I should probably stop doing that then. Okay, is there anything in here? No. Oh, there's a dresser drawer here as well with Louise's diary. Huh, I fear the worst for Alexandre. He hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was the work, but it seems to be far worse than that. From dusk till dawn, he stares into the void. He barely speaks to me. His son asked him to play the ball, and he didn't say a word. And that way, he has to glance at the window. Last night, I heard him mumble in his sleep. He's coming, he murmured. I don't know why, but those words left a deep impression on me. He woke up shortly after, covered in sweat. He couldn't remember his dream, obviously. He didn't go back to sleep after that, chain smoking the night away over the window. He told me to pack my things this morning. I wonder why. Does he himself know? We're waiting. But for what? I, I think I feel dread. Whoa. Are there any more pages? No. That's the only page worth reading in Louise's diary, apparently. That's weird. There's no picture in this frame. Oh, God. Okay, let's leave the lights on. That's really fucking spooky. There's another picture here. I guess we're like really cold up here, so we should probably try to head downstairs. What the f fuck was that? Hey! Get out of here! What are you doing? Hey, close the door. What a smart fucking dog. Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. What was he actually... What was... Wait, where did the bowl go that he was eating from? this wolf like follow oh more sigs nice okay there's a whole bunch of lumber and stuff back there we got the jolly old french canadian music on did he open the fridge hey look at this we got some steaks my inventory's full how the hell consumable okay let's smoke some cigarettes nice oh i see look the cigarette helps our mind okay Great. Do we have anything else that we can consume? Our inventory. We have an empty gas can. We, we've got some logs. We've got fire starter. We've got the pincer. Polaroid film. Matches. Some hardware. Some sherry wine. That's not caribou, though. we got these spark plugs and empty bottles as well. Like, I don't even know what to, to do with half this crap. Like, can we just... Can we just drop this? Or what? Discard? Okay, let's discard these. And let's discard these logs as well. So that we can pick up some of this other crap instead. Like, what's this? A beer bottle. Nice. That could be useful. And now, we can pick up two logs, apparently. We might be able to start a fire in here. Or at least... What's this? This furniture has been moved several times. Aha! Notes from Martin Blaise. My sweet Marie... Please excuse my handwriting. I am in a hurry. I have to leave for North Manistan with Mum and Mrs. Hua. As they say, it's far too dangerous around here these days. I don't know much about what's going on because Mum won't tell me anything in an attempt to reassure me. But all I know is she has the exact same expression on her face as when I startle her. Dad and Mr. Hua aren't coming because they have gone to get Mr. Lachance. They're real heroes. My grandmother lives in a very big house in North Manistan. You would be welcome there. I must go now. Quite literally, your friend Martin. Who is Marie? And Martin, I guess, is the son? Oh. Who's in here? There's gonna be somebody dead in the bath. I just know it. That's... The bulb is burnt out. <gasps> okay, no, there isn't anyone in the bath. Thank God. An unsolvable accident. Over the last few days, a lack of resources 
forced the death investigation of Pierre Blaise to come to a halt. The autopsy of the body, conducted over the last few weeks, didn't reveal any clue that could have helped the investigators, who refused to comment on what would happen next. This new development is happening in the context of the hypothesis of an accident which is still, in spite of skepticism expressed by the local population, the ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities. The incident is said to have occurred in the forest surrounding Lake Atamipec. Pierre Bless was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon-to-be-restarted copper mine. Blaise, an engineer by training who was working on behalf of the consortium headed by William Hamilton, was reportedly in charge of the development plan surrounding the reopening of the mine. At first, police had disclosed that the body had been desecrated. Today, the official version is that it was partly devoured by beast, hence the original assumption that a crime had been committed. Okay, so another Blaise person has been killed, apparently. We can fill up my bottle here, but it doesn't seem to... Do I... Did I drop the bottle? Oh, I did drop the bottle. I could have filled it up with some sweet water. I mean, we could just drink the beer, right? In actual fact, maybe I should be thinking about drinking some beer right about now. It would be a good time to do it, right? What's this? Like, are these pills? I can't... This, this one's a... No, please open. Painkillers! All right, okay, let's see now. Let's have, from my inventory, let us consume the sherry wine. We can't, okay. From consumables, let us consume the beer bottles. Okay, Is will this warm us up a little bit? We should have an empty bottle now, right? We'll have to close these things so I can get closer. Yes. Okay, now we have... Where we once had a beer bottle, we now have a water bottle. Okay, what's this? A bit of reading to pass the time. That's pretty gross. That is pretty gross. Okay, we've got attach wire here. Wait, attach wire? I don't have a wire. What's this? The key, which seemed to be meant for a padlock, bore an inscription reading Cloutier et Fils. Cloutier? Hmm, a company name. A Fils. Better keep an eye open. Why is there like exactly numerous around these parts? There's some crumpled up paper in the corner there that I can't use. Did I open all these? Yeah, I did. Okay. There's food and stuff. I, what I really need now is to be warm, though. I need to warm up. Is there anything worth getting on here? No, it's just like a game. Okay. There's like another like little shack or something over here too, right? Where, where did that wolf go? Are his tracks over here? Somebody knocked over his trash cans! Son of a bitch! Who would do such a thing? Okay, there's nothing inside this trash can. Is that a sun chair? What the fuck? Who was sitting in that? Out here in this weather of all times of years. I, I guess maybe they just left it out from like the summer or whatever. What's this? Is that a bear trap? No, it's not. There's no, no bear trap to be had today, but there's a Carl's we, big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. What? Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. I can't unlock this. We're, we're missing a, a key, and the key is in there. An empty bottle. Okay, we can fill it up with water. I wonder if maybe we could, like, crowbar it out or something? Let's see. I have uh, in my... I've got some equipment here. I might be able to use the crowbar to get it out. Oh look, there's some steak here that I can equip, apparently. Why would I ever want to do that? I don't know. Okay, let's use the old crowbar. Did that work? Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. That doesn't work either. <laughs> How am I gonna get this key? With the pincers? Wait, I don't, that's not equipment though, right? Like I can't just use the pincers. I don't think. Inventory, yeah, they're right here. I can't, I can't use them like that, apparently. I can discard it, though. None of this stuff I can use. I can only discard this stuff for some reason. What the hell? Okay, let's see. Consumable. We have water bottles. We have cigarettes. We have some first aid, beer bottles, and painkillers. Okay, we really need to get out of the cold, though. Because we're getting pretty cold. We're about to black out. The cold was burning Carl, 
He would not hold up much longer. He okay. had to warm himself. All right. Get back in the car. All right, we're warming up a little bit in the car, but not much. It takes a good long while. It turns out that this... Whoa. It's going to be hard to drive back. <laughs> While we're blacking out like this. But we're going to try our best. Okay, let's get on the road here. Okay, so we're, we're looking for uh, some sort of paranormal... There's like a, like an alien or something out in the forest, I think. And the little kid knew about it somehow, because he drew pictures of it. And maybe the alien is capable of freezing people, like that guy that was in the garage. And maybe the alien also killed Hamilton for some reason, because uh, maybe Hamilton tried to sell him some, like, duff beans or something that he did not care much for. Wait. Was that tree always down? by the general store. Okay, the general store we can definitely warm up at. So I, th I say we get out and we warm up. Because it's nice and warm in there, right? At least I think it is. With the generator on and stuff? Yes, it is. Okay, this is the warmest place in town. We're just going to regroup here. We're going to warm up and then we're going to go back out and we're going to find some caribou and get some warmer clothes and then we're going to go do an investigation. We're going to find out what the fuck all of those blaze people were doing and why they're all dying and stuff and why that wolf keeps following me everywhere and stuff as well we have to figure it out it is a true french canadian mystery anyway as usual thanks for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>